Hello and welcome to our final Masterworks program of the season. As all of our calendar pages keep turning forward into longer days and warmer nights, we're going to give you one last show that spans a horizon of musical expression where the sky meets the ground, from the celestial contemporary to the earthly and introspective classical. Our concert opens with Neo Wise by Sarasota's own Roger Zare. His piece captures the awe and beauty of the recently discovered comet called Neowise, imagining that we're all planted on the Earth, somehow watching this comet circle the sun and slingshot by. It's a great image, isn't it? Roger knows, of course, and probably intends that as he paints those pictures into his music, we listeners will probably drift from the literal impressions of the comet into a reflection about our own connection to the stars. This is a modern journey through space and sound, grounded in our own soil. And Roger Zare is someone I call a hometown hero. Many of us in this orchestra remember him from his high school days here. And we couldn't feel more pride than we do now, watching him race across the world like he's a comet, so that he can hear his music played by countless other orchestras and ensembles. Following Roger's journey through space, we delve into one of Mozart's most poignant journeys of the heart with his piano concerto number 24 in C minor. We've heard some wonderful Mozart already this year, but this concerto really stands out for its somber tone and drama, especially near the end, where it's said that Mozart might have written a little bit more for himself and a little less for his Viennese audiences, who always preferred it when he kept things light. Mozart was a genius, of course, in marrying the elegance of the piano with the power of the orchestra. And I think we have the perfect soloist for you. The Korean virtuoso Joyce Yang is acclaimed for her technical brilliance and heartfelt interpretations. She's an award-winning soloist and chamber musician. And after Roger Zare lights up the sky with his comet, you'll hear her illuminate Mozart's score with her own vibrant style. Our concert concludes with Dvorak's Symphony No. 8, a piece that some of his contemporaries said was breathtaking because of the sheer number of gorgeous melodies woven into it. Dvorak himself especially liked this piece, and he thought of it as different from all his others. He said it just poured out of him. He finished almost all of it in a month, where other symphonies had taken years. I love this one, too, and I think you'll hear the kaleidoscopic activity of his childhood in it. You can almost picture him dreaming of going from his father's butcher shop to the town square and then on through the lush Czech countryside. It's beautiful and inspiring. The amazing young Austrian conductor Katarina Vinsor will make her debut with us as we journey from heaven back to earth together. And I know she'll make a wonderful impression on you. I hope you've liked these little videos we've done and that they've helped you enjoy our concerts even more. I think it can get overlooked sometimes how much a part of any concert is the before and the after. It's the anticipation and hopefully the long afterglow you feel too, like the light we see over the gulf after the sun is set for the day. It's special, I think, that we all enjoy this together, us from the stage and you from the audience. And speaking of special, I want to make sure I do one very important final thing in this last video, and that is to introduce you to the magicians behind the scenes here with me. Even though you haven't seen them on the screen, they've been stars in every one of these. Audrey Dunn and Dan Byers have worked unfailingly this year to make everything you see look great and sound great because they flat out refuse to give our patrons anything less. They help me make sure my jokes come across as funny, Okay, funny-ish. And sometimes they'll even tell me jokes right before we start so that I can keep my own spirits up when I have to try to get my words right on a fourth or a fifth try. They're part of what makes this organization wonderful. And like the rest of our staff, they're an essential part of who you see every time you see us. Even if you're not always seeing them. Was that confusing? Well, anyway, thank you. And we'll, we'll see, see you there. there.